Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. Why do I look so awful? It's because I didn't sleep again. I had a terrible night's sleep again. Oh, by the way, welcome to the walking vlogs episode two. That's my co-pilot, Malcolm. Pug power? No? Come on, pug power. It's no fun. She's not a morning pug. <laughs> Malcolm, you the Judy master? Yeah. So anyway, I didn't sleep well again last night, and that's why I look like I'm beat up. So the first day of walking, so far, no results. Um, I'm super, did I just say I'm super tired? I'm delirious. I have my, um, my favorite drink here lately, my adrenaline shock cotton candy. I know you guys are going to tell me how bad this is for me. I've replaced my coffee in the morning with the adrenaline shock. <coughs> because coffee is just not waking me up anymore. And this is so good. But you can only drink it in the morning. So, um, what's I going to say? I'm delirious because I, I got no sleep. I think in order for me to get enough sleep, I'm going to have to start going to bed at like 9 o'clock or earlier to make up for all the times that I wake up. Uh, during the night. So I'm going to continue the walks today, but not right now because I'm going to go to work. What I want to try to do is on my lunch break, I want to see after lunch, I'm going to try going for a walk around the block and see if I can make that a habit. So not only do I walk around the block after work, I'll try to walk around the block after lunch. We'll see how that goes. Malcolm, Malcolm is there for moral supports, right? Moral supports. Now he's just like, take me to see grandma so I can have snacks and breakfast. All right, I'll check in with you guys later. Okay guys, so it's after work and it looks like I'm gonna be stuck in traffic again. I was going to walk on my lunch hour but I didn't because I decided that I wanted to go to Subway to have a sandwich and what's right next to Subway Dollar Tree so I did get some exercise walking around the Dollar Tree um, I did find some stuff but you're gonna have to stay tuned to my channel because I, I have a whole bunch of videos scheduled and planned to go up but I'm not going to overload you guys with a whole bunch of videos in one day although I wonder what that would be like I I had pondered the idea of having like a scent maven marathon so like recording a bunch of extra videos and then on one day schedule one video to go up every hour but I think that would irritate people so I didn't go for my walk I have a meeting that I have to attend virtually um, so at 7 so that means that uh, when I go to my mom's house I have to get in my walk and then get Malcolm because I walk a lot faster without Malcolm I walk with Malcolm. I know you guys are gonna, gonna say, well, why don't you take Malcolm for walks? <clears throat> Malcolm has to go for short walks and slow walks because Malcolm is overweight and he's a pug, which means he's a brachycephalic dog, which means he has a short, flat face and he does not do well in the heat. And it is, according to my air, according to my air conditioner, According to my temperature uh, thermometer in the car, it's 88 degrees. And this is, it says outside, outside 88 degrees. So Malcolm does not do well in the heat. He doesn't like the heat. He starts panting. It's not good for him. It's not good for any dog that has a short, flat face, like a bulldog 
or a, you know, pugs or I don't know what other dogs have short flat faces but anyway mostly like bulldogs French bulldogs and stuff um so see the, there are these people did you see them there are people who stand in the middle of the highway on the median and they sell flowers and they sell fruit and stuff and they're you know I worry about them because they walk out into the middle of traffic and one of them god forbid is gonna get hit because they have you know people don't pay attention they they should not be selling stuff over there I understand that people got to make a living and you know I, I don't have anything against them but you know you got to be safe you got to pick a safe spot and this this entrance this particular entrance onto the highway is very well known for accidents and traffic and speeding and it's just the worst I, I guess well let me finish my thought it's the worst possible place you could stand um, as far as a safety perspective but if you want to get a lot of people I guess they figure well we're gonna go where the people are we'll go where the most people are and we'll sell the most stuff now coming up here is this an accident because I, I think I see an accident already I see somebody's got their blinkers on I think there was a, an accident it looks like somebody was changing lanes without looking and they hit a car but it doesn't it looks like a fender bender so this is exactly proving my point you know they shouldn't be selling food over at the side of the road like that in it's such a busy place but again with Malcolm so I take him for walks that he can handle I'm not going to go and and, and make him walk more more than is possible yeah there was an accident I'm not going to make him walk more than is possible uh, for him or that's good for him because why am I going to make him sick? He's, you got to walk according to your breed. Some dogs are super active. You know, if you have like a Jack Russell Terrier or a dog that's super active, then good for you, you know, but Malcolm, he has to walk what he can walk, you know, so anyway. Then I wanna I wanna mention two things. Um, so I'm gonna do these walking vlogs. I, I appreciate that you guys want to give me advice, but I don't need advice on every, try every single diet. You know, I got some of those comments. Try this diet. Try that diet. And then um, I got also comments. You know what, what creeps me out? When people say, oh, I see where you are. You're at this location. I know where that is. That's creepy to me. I don't like, pe I like to think that people don't know where I am. I like to think that everybody's in another state and they don't recognize my surroundings and they don't know where I am because knowing that people know where I am, that freaks me out. So, oh, and then somebody said, uh, as far as the exercise, go on a bicycle at the gym. Well, that kind of defeats the purpose. The purpose of me walking is for me to get outdoors in the fresh air and work all the muscles, not to just sit on a bike. I need to move, you know, move all the parts, move the drumsticks, but get the whole body moving, get the circulation moving, not sit on a, a stationary bike. And then don't say, oh, get a regular bicycle, because you know what, I don't know how to ride a bicycle. They say you never forget how to ride a bicycle. I have forgotten. I have tried as an adult to ride a two-wheel bicycle and I cannot do it. I have tried roller skating as an adult and I cannot do it. I crash into walls. So if I'm gonna be on a bicycle, it has to be a stationary bike. But the whole purpose of this walking is for me to get out into the fresh air, not to be in a sweaty, stinky gym, which I don't even know, like, especially now with COVID, who wants to be touching where other people have sweated and who knows the sanitary conditions of whatever gym. So yeah, the whole point is for me to be out in the open, to see other people, not that I'm a hermit or anything, but to go out and to see other people and to walk and to be in the fresh air. That is what is supposed to relieve the stress and the anxiety. So, I know it's all well-intentioned advice. 
So I'm going to do my walks. I don't know what I'm going to have for dinner. I have fat-free hot dogs, but I ran out of buns. And I was at the dollar, you know, damn it, I was at the Dollar Tree today. And I forgot to pick up buns. I picked up everything else, but I didn't pick up buns. Okay. Oh, and uh, so, yeah, stay tuned for more Dollar Tree hauls, more shirt hauls. I have to stop. Oh, that's another thing. I have to stop hauling graphic t-shirts. Uh, and I have to go through my clothes. So I need to get rid of a lot of old clothes. I need to go through all my clothes and see what I don't wear anymore and give it away to Goodwill if it's still usable and get rid of a lot of old clothes because the majority of the clothes in my closet I don't wear and they're just taking up space. So, and then the new stuff, I'm forgetting to wear the new stuff and I'm forgetting what I'm buying because it's all stuck in with the old stuff. So I have to um, get do a declutter of clothing, get rid of stuff, you know, and, and, and clean it out. I spoke to Goose Creek today about their hand sanitizer recall. So I'll be doing a video on that. Yeah. I'm going to concentrate on my driving. Okay, guys. It's another picture perfect day to be walking. Actually, the first time. Oh, there's a squirrel! <laughs> I'm getting easily distracted. Hold on. Does he have nipples? What are those? What is that? Hit death. What you doing, squirrel? So how stereotypical is that? <laughs> I'm talking and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, squirrel. It actually happens. So I was going to say it's a picture perfect day to be walking. And unlike the first time I started walking, I don't have aches and pains all over, but I do have pain in my right foot. I've been getting pains in my right foot. And I think it's because I need to start wearing more supportive shoes. I think first it was because my feet were swollen from not walking. But now that I am walking, I think I need to wear more supportive shoes, which I just bought new sneakers and I haven't started wearing them yet. So, one of the things that my doctor told me that I should be thinking about besides walking for our next session is oh why do they have to be I hate motorcycles that's one of the major community complaints around the summertime is ATVs and motorcycles and the obnoxious noise that they make anyway so the doctor told me that I should think about what I want to accomplish what do I want to accomplish in therapy? So I've been thinking about it and what I need to accomplish is I need to learn how to deal with my emotions in a healthy way. So if I'm upset about something or 
I experience emotional pain or trauma, I need to handle that in a healthy way and not turn to crutches like smoking, like food, like just going to sleep and not facing the world and hiding, having meltdowns. I need to deal with my emotions in a healthy way. So that's one of the things I want to accomplish. The other thing I need to accomplish is I need to declutter my life. And I know you guys are saying for somebody who does an awful lot of shopping, how are you going to declutter your life? I want to be more organized so that I can get more accomplished. I think that I could be a much more productive person if I just had myself together. You know what else is obnoxious? People who water, who water, people who clean their car like this. That's what's obnoxious so that you can't walk down the sidewalk. Do you have these people in your neighborhood? Motorcycles, obnoxious people, watering, washing their car. Is that really cleaning the car? It'll be interesting to see what happens after these three weeks, roughly, be less than three weeks now. How much can I accomplish before I go back to the doctor and how much progress will I have made? And what will happen after that? I don't think there's any cure. Will I be cured? Will I ever actually be cured? That's something to think about. Will I ever actually live a happy and content life without anxiety, without stress, complete contentment and fulfillment? Is it possible? Well, they say you can never be too rich or too thin. Would that make me happy? I don't know. So, is this walking relieving my anxiety? Well, last night I didn't sleep any better. I do feel a little less stressed walking around talking to you guys. That squirrel made me feel better. See, that's something I wouldn't have seen if I was on a stationary bike in the gym. Or people walking their dogs, watching me talk to you guys like I'm a nut. See, you don't see this kind of stuff in the gym. This is what the doctor was talking about, getting out, seeing people, experiencing things. Experiencing things means looking at a squirrel, watching a guy wash his car, watching people walk their dogs. But it's out. It's out in the fresh air. Now, I should be doing more of this each day. But today I can't increase my walk because I need to get to a meeting. But I did not use that as an excuse not to do my walk. Now I'm going to go pick up Malcolm and I'll walk a little bit with him and then I would like to have something to eat. I'm starving. Uh, yeah and I have been curbing what I've been eating. I've been cutting out I've been eating less junk food and stuff so we'll see how that works. Come on Malcolm bless you. Come on you are the duty master. You are the duty machine. Come on. Stop being duty machine. 
Well, I gotta get to a meeting and you're taking too long. Come on, let's go. Let's move those drumsticks. Move the drumsticks. Maybe you'll find a squirrel. Okay, so even though Malcolm is the duty master, he did not poop yet today. He is just like peeing on everything. Hook power? Come on, hook power. It's no fun. You're a lazy butt. Anyway, it is really hot. Put the, I'm gonna put the air all the way up. So I am so hungry. I had for lunch a six inch tuna sandwich and please like and, I, and you know what I've learned I shouldn't tell you guys what I eat because then I'm gonna get the carb people the people say you eat carbs you eat fat you eat this you eat that you're not supposed to eat that you're not supposed to eat this or that so I stopped telling people what I eat but I'll tell you what I had for lunch I had a six inch tuna sandwich with onion and green pepper on honey oat from Subway and then I had an apple and then I had some of that propel berry water Oh, here's the hoarder guy. Oh, man. He looks so weird. Okay, hold on. Look, he's just... He's just being weird. Okay. At least he got a mask on. Okay. Anyway. What was I saying? Oh. So, yeah. I had the tuna sandwich and an apple, and I'm starving. So... I am going to get a peanut butter and banana smoothie, which I know is not the healthiest thing for me. Maybe I'll get it with some chocolate protein. Yes, that would be good with some chocolate protein. And the chocolate protein, I asked the guy to see the bottle and it has no sugar in it. So. And for the people who recognize my neighborhood, and know where I go to get my smoothies. Please don't tell me you know where I get my smoothies because it freaks me out. It freaks me out that people know where I am. Like if some, I'm telling you, if somebody came up to me one day like I was a celebrity and recognized me from YouTube, I would totally freak out. I would be like, oh, cause I'm not a celebrity. I'm like a normal, regular person. I don't want people recognizing me. It's so strange it's so strange no you know when you can recognize me when I'm like 125 pounds and tan and fabulous and whatever then you can recognize me while I'm in my process don't recognize me <laughs> so yeah I'm going to go get a smoothie and then, probably later on, I'll have a fat-free hot dog or low-fat hot dog. And I don't want to hear what, you know, what's in a low-fat hot dog. So. So Malcolm is back there in the, in this back seat. Look at him. He didn't even walk that much. Look. It's already eyeballing me. I got my peanut butter and banana smoothie with chocolate protein. The girl charged me twice for the protein. She had to give me back a dollar. Starving. I'm going to be late for my meeting if I don't get going. So I'm going to close out this vlog here. Uh, remember to comment, rate, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Shopping and Sense. Oh, wait, Malcolm, you don't want to say goodbye? Malcolm, say goodbye. Don't be rude. Malcolm. Malcolm. Well, he's just, he's putting his foot out there. Anyway, I will see you in uh, tomorrow maybe. 
We'll see how long I'm doing these vlogs for or how often. Goodbye everyone out there in YouTube land.